How you doing guys? Ryan from Anglers here and welcome to Light Tackle Week. This week we'll be dropping videos every day with a star-studded cast covering everything you need to know about light tackle fishing in the Chesapeake Bay. This will be leading up to our big light tackle sales event on Saturday, April 13th. For full details, visit our website, anglersannapolis.com. Today we're joined by LJ from GI Jigs. Hey Ryan, we'll what's covering, up? We're, we're going to be hey, covering buddy. some sea trout today, right? Yeah, let's get some sea trout going. I mean, we're just getting ready to kick it all off. Yeah. Uh, once once the season for striped bass closes, April first, um, I get out there and I'm totally serious about getting that first sea trout yeah. of the year. Um, there's sea trout here now. So uh, last week I had a buddy caught a 26 incher. Yeah. Yeah. Sea trout. Sea trout. March. You yeah, know? <laughs> right. Okay, so they're here all winter. Uh, surface temperatures <laughs> last winter, they kind of stayed up. Right. Which is, I'm used to seeing 30 something degrees yeah. surface temperature. This year, I don't think I saw 39. I, yeah, maybe I'd, 40. I would agree with you. I, I think the lowest um, I saw was 41 this year. Yeah. Uh, I think that the sea trout population is increasing. Okay. Um, yeah. So every year seems to get a little bit better. Yeah. You know, as far as numbers go, you're not it. Look, if if you go out and catch three sea trout in one day, that's that's a good day. Right. All right. So that's really kind of get your expectations to be that way. Right. Um, so I would like to, you know, when I jump into April, you know, I would like to talk about the baits. So here's here's the way I play this. Um, these are great colors. They're Z-Mans. They're five-inch diesel minnows. Yeah. Okay, the sexy mullet, you just can never go wrong. Yeah, absolutely. The, and, and you know how much I love Pearl Blue Glimmer. Absolutely. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to fish shoreline structure. Okay. Um, it's morning. Mm -hmm. Okay. I like and, and don't be afraid. But, I mean, the sun and the water temps are not very high. They're, these sea trout are going to be along the shoreline okay. all day long. Right. Okay. Things change as the water temps get warmer though. Okay. But this time of year, don't be too concerned. I mean, first light or whatever. Right. Um, but I will pair the five inch diesels most times with the three eighths ounce uh, GI jig and this uh, sand eel color is a really good color on, um, you know, it's one of my top five. Okay. okay? Yeah. So you're always going to see this color. You're going to see the pink lady, the go to. You're going to see the cherry bomb. Right. You're going to those. Those are standard colors that you're going to see uh, from in my sea trout box all all summer. Okay. Um, another thing that I, I want to touch on is how to rig it. Okay. okay. So yeah, if you can open that, that would be great. Sure. It's I use a real simple method. Just take take your diesel minnow and just thread the lure straight down into the belly. Okay, and make sure. You, so to make sure it's straight, you should be seeing it like this. That looks a little crooked, so I'm going to do it one more time. You can rethread these diesel yeah, minnows. Yeah, that's what's awesome about that Z-Man Elastec. Yeah, you can rethread it a million times. Absolutely. There we go. That looks much better. And then simply push push the elastic text and expose the keeper tines because yep. I designed these keeper tines for these baits, okay? Just wet it here and then straighten your bait out so you get a nice, nice look here. And then simply take your thumb, pull back, and then put a you know, put a little, a little dab of super glue. Just a little bit on both sides. It'll last you the whole season unless you yeah. snag it on a tree, yes, okay? It will. Yes, so it will. yeah. Find points in moving current. Okay, that's what I was going to ask. But now, what about tides? I like outgoing tide for sea outgoing trout. Outgoing tide. Okay. Whatever, like that is the best. Right. Um, look at your Navionics, mm -hmm. and, and like I'll plan my day specifically for tides. Right. I'm going to follow the outgoing tide as much as I can all day long. Okay. If it's incoming and that's all you're going to get that day, just go. Right. Um, but try to focus on the outgoing tide if you okay. possibly can. Right. Um, trees, rocks, um, riprap on a shoreline, all of that. Focus on that. And and if you can find areas, whether it's in the chop tank, eBay, or whatever, yeah. you know that have grass or or they're not too far away from deeper water. When I call deeper water, it's like. 10, 12 10 feet. feet. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's deeper water. Right. Okay. Nine feet. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm throwing into like three, four, but there's it's not far away. Right. From a shelf that's yeah, gonna drop yeah, off absolutely. down to nine or ten. Okay. Mm -hmm. So 
Kicking off in April, I'm going to fish the five inch diesel minnows. Right. As the water temperatures warm up, I'm going to start downsizing my baits. It, that works best. Okay. And I'll go down to the four inch diesel. <laughs> right. So, Probably sometime in same June. Same color, smaller profile. Yeah, June, July ish. Okay. When I start to notice that I'm not getting as many bites on the four right. and the water temperatures are getting warmer, then I'm going to go to three. Okay. And these two colors right here are staples for sea trout and for me. Slam Shady and Tater Salad. Tater Salad. <laughs> yeah. Hey, the tater salad glows yeah. and it's a great bait. So as the water temps warm up throughout the summer, you want to you wanna fish first light, like late July, August, okay. when, yeah. you know, when it's hot. Right. You want to fish first light and right around 9 a.m. when that sun gets up and right. it, you're starting to notice, yeah, it's getting warm out yeah. here. The trout are thinking the same thing too. Exactly. They move out into what I call the second ledge. Okay. They they do not cast to the shoreline anymore. Right. Cast away from the shoreline in the same areas that you're normally fishing. You know, that Just are close to the around. nine, twelve foot of water. Yeah. Or Just, let your boat drift out even. Like okay. let it drift out a hundred yards. Don't be afraid. Right. To get out, you know, away from that shoreline because they're on a second ledge. They're going to be somewhere where it's comfortable. Right. And work your baits slow. Okay. Work them slow, and I, and now and again, I'll give it small twitches, mm -hmm. okay? And the reason for that is, is that a rockfish's flicker rate is yeah. about the same as humans. So when I do this with my hand, you saw that. Right. The trout won't. Okay. Okay. So you're working a little slower. Spanish mackerel, you better race it. Yeah, exactly. That, yeah, his flicker rate's real good. Okay. Sea trout like contrast, and their flicker rate is slower. So they right. need they need that slow action, and that's why I'm working to be okay. slow. So now when you talk about moving out to that second ledge, mm -hmm. um, where, at least for the most part, are they sitting? Are you trying to work towards the bottom? Yes. They're going to be laying low. More they're towards gonna, the bottom. They're going to okay. get out of that UV light as okay. much so as possible. Okay, so the bottom third the of the water light. column for yeah. the most part? Oh, absolutely. Keep okay. it low. Keep it deep. Bottom third is a good way to look at yeah. it. Now, um, Anglers carries a rod that I designed with Ron mm -hmm. from JLS. Yeah. Uh, it's the rain minnow rod. I'm going to pull this out April 1st. I got a couple of them, yeah. and that's going to be what rules. Yeah, I know. You were telling me right before the video, this is mm -hmm. your rod all summer long. All summer. All summer, uh, especially for the sea trout. I love the Procyon reel. It's mm -hmm. a tank. I mean, look at this. Yeah, that Daiwa Procyon is really punching above its weight class. Um, I'm on my third year with the with my Procyons, and they're just as smooth as this one that just yeah. came off the rack. Um, I pair this with 15-pound high vis braid okay okay i like suffix 832 the best yeah that eight strand is super um, smooth yeah and yeah i love do that you stuff. guys have that berkeley x9 still we don't unfortunately oh, okay the, the suffix 832 kind of replaced that for us oh did it yeah so oh that, man that's that eight, great that 832 is i mean we found <laughs> mm -hmm. customers love it we all love it here i don't think there's a single person here that doesn't use it oh i love it i love it um now if if you can't if you can't get the rain minnow rod, what what this is is a medium power, mm -hmm. okay, and it's a moderate tip, right? Okay, so it's a real, real flexible. It works great with top water too. Yep. So if you do want to throw top water, every once in a while you'll get a sea trout on top water yeah. in the morning. I mean, it can happen. It's not not the highest odds, but it can yeah. happen. Yeah, um, one of those. And, um, I got, mean, mm -hmm. I don't fish sea trout, but I imagine one of the best lures for that would be something like a Super Spook Junior. Sure. Something like that, yeah, three, yeah. four inch top uh -huh. water. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they're pretty aggressive. They'll hit just about anything. They'll even knock, hit your one knocker. So. I gotcha. But it's a real soft tip. And then it, it's, I like the seven foot version mm -hmm. I, I, because I like the ability to make the long cast. Right, yeah. When, you know, there's this tree up there and I right. want to hit it with a quarter ounce GI jig yeah. and a four, yeah. four inch diesel minnow. I want to be able to get it there. Yeah, that little bit of extra length helps you out. Yeah. For sure. Um, in the summertime, I'll say this though, Ryan, if you're catching small rockfish, mm -hmm. stick with it a little bit. Right. Uh, the they're seat, mixed in. They're mixed in. Yeah. They'll mix in with the small rockfish. Okay. So if you do find a little pile of small rockfish um, on the shoreline, right. Uh, don't be frustrated. Those guys are aggressive. Yeah. And they'll, they'll outrace the seat trout to get yeah. your bait. But yeah. this, the one time that you got it in there, That's he the got trout. it. It's going to pay off dividends for you. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, 
What else can I say about the sea trout? Um, it's a real simple rule. Let's no. just recap. Start out big, yeah. five inch. Yeah. As the bites get fewer, make it smaller to the four. Now, do you have a certain month water temp that you kind of decide on, or is it just, you know, you're out the, there? I let the fish decide. Let the fish decide. And, and then when the water temps are high, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to the three inch. Right. And then as the water temps start to cool off, I'm gonna start throwing a four inch. Right. And as they get cooler in the fall, I'm gonna throw the five inch. Up. So okay. it's just kind of work it all in reverse. Right. If, if you just stick with these simple tactics, uh, you'll have great success. What my, the 3 16th ounce GI jig, sometimes I put them on a five inch. Yeah. If I know there's a lot of rocks or a lot of tree stumps and things like that, and I want to keep my bait above that, that structure, right. throw the 16th ounce. If you're losing yeah. a lot of jigs on the 3H, you're too heavy. Right. Downsize your weight, to even a if it's a 5 or three inch. Yeah. 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 3 sixteenths right yeah. there. Now, as far as uh, location, that's a big one. I know mostly yeah. south of the Bay Bridge, correct? Well, that's where I fish. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I mean, sea trout are going to, like, they're going to be from eBay all the way down into the Virginia. Okay. So it, it, it's all the same tactic. Right. Um, I'm, I'm kind of the guy that, I'm one of the guys that just likes to fish by my house. Mm -hmm. I know the water right. real good. Right, right. You know, so learn your water. Yeah, exactly. Get out there, do the reps. Exactly, exactly. The more <laughs> you're out there, the more you're there. gonna learn. There's never a time where you go out fishing and you don't learn something. I always learn something every time I go out. And I'll yeah. learn more this year about these sea trout. Yeah. Um, but if, if you guys would just take these simple, these colors, yeah. simple tactics, fish shoreline, water temp, the sun comes up in the summer, get off on a second ledge Drop and back. then reverse it. Yep. And as we get into the cooler water into the fall, you, you can have a great chance to catch yourself a speckled yeah, sea absolutely. trout in the Chesapeake Bay. Absolutely. All right. Well, thank you very much. All right. Thanks for having me. Appreciate yeah, it. Absolutely. <laughs> All right, guys, hope that helped. And uh, I just want to mention one more time our sale on April 13th. We're going to be running a special 15% off rod and reels. And we're also going to be running an additional 10% off rod and reels if you bring in one of your used rod and reel combos that is fully functioning, totaling a 25% off discount on any rod and reel. Just want to say thank you for guys for watching. Hope to see you there.